you guys so this is something that you don't need coding experience for if you trying to get more coding experience this is a really good way to start because it's a super easy app it's already set up for you you basically just have to put your information in and run it so this is a really awesome project for beginners to try basically what this is is it's an app that makes it so that you don't have to go into instagram and like like people's photos because honestly like so if you want followers that's the best way to get followers is by liking people's photos making sure that they notice your account then they're like oh who's liking my photos and then they look at your account and they're like okay and then they follow your account if you have good content so yeah that's the best way to do it you basically just want to go have this bot like people's photos because why would you want to waste your time liking people's photos when you could have a bot do it for you and that's the whole thing that's great about bot animation or auto automation is like why would you waste your time doing something when it's like literally something so that takes so little thought that a robot can do it for you that the computer can do it for you so yeah that's what this is setting up this is definitely safer than i mean not safer but definitely cheaper than buying one on the app store and also like i don't know if any of the app store ones even work i've never tried because <laughs> programmer <laughs> so yeah so this is a really awesome thing to try let me know if it works for you let me know if you get followers i've gotten like 2,000 followers this way i have gotten blocked <laughs> a couple times but yeah try it out let me know if it works leave hate comments leave comments that you liked it leave comments that you have no idea what i'm talking about but i'm gonna link it down below just so it's easy for you to find the repository and yeah we're gonna use the repo from my github because basically like this is an open source instagram bot meaning that one developer started working on it he realized it was really good he gave it to everyone else so that they could use it and work on it but now it's been updated and it's super complicated that has a lot of different features so i'm just gonna show like what i think is like the most useful feature which is the liking of other accounts potentially following but i don't think that's as good so let's get into it so you can see i have my terminal i already started and tested it to make sure it worked we're just gonna make a new directory and we're gonna cd into that i did that because I have done this a bunch of different times and pulled up the wrong project every time so i want to make sure that it works so here we are i'm gonna link this and i just accidentally opened firefox i am gonna <laughs> link this below so that you guys can find it and i'm gonna clone this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so here we are it's cloned and there it is we can cd into it and then what we want is this example file that's where we're gonna make changes that's where you're gonna put your login information and then not put it on github because then everyone's gonna have your login information that's what you're gonna do to run it so i already installed python 3 so that's what you want to do you want to if you use homebrew if you have a mac i recommend it it's a really easy way to install everything but i say brew install python 3 that's how you're gonna get that i don't need to do that because i already installed it i could also install it globally so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this in vs code vs code i really recommend because you can see the changes that you've made and it's a lifesaver so we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to this folder or this file excuse me called example we're gonna open example and here is where you put your login and your password i am gonna blur this out but i'm gonna put in my login not my login login and password so likes per day 1000 that's a lot since i'm just running this locally and i kind of want it to like things quickly like that's fine if you were running this on like a gcp instance because you didn't want to be around your computer or leave your terminal running you definitely should take that down to like 50 because when you get more than 50 likes per day like that's when the zog is gonna catch you and that's what happened to me before i was running a gcp instance and i got freaking owned by the zog so he, he blocked me for like a month like zog if you see this thanks for nothing thanks for blocking me for a month i was trying to make your platform useful but since it wasn't a human looking at advertisements block but that's okay because we're not gonna be obvious so whatever we'll leave it at that these things oh it has me thinking these are hashtags that you want to look at and to follow so i like skateboarding i'm gonna leave that there i'm gonna delete these weird scammy hashtags make sure that's a string that's like a location i don't know where it is i don't know if it's mine i don't i don't know if i put that there a while ago or what then makeup beauty guru beauty guru 
Obviously, these are things that I like for whatever reason. If Black Lotus is rain and thunderstorm, that's fine. Those things don't really interest me, so I'm gonna keep those there. I don't care if my thing likes them, my bar likes them or not. But uh, for example, if you have things that like you hate that you absolutely do not want your bot to like, it will avoid whatever you put in here. Follows per day, I'm gonna put zero because that's that's how you get caught is following a lot of people honestly like who like think about how you normally use instagram like how many people do you follow per day probably not even one like it's only like radically when you meet people that's the whole thing is like these bots are very like there's probably this this open source has become so complicated now that it have, probably has ways to make the following and liking more sporadic but right now it's like very timely that they're liking which is like pretty much tells Instagram that they're bots. So yeah, try to keep it on the DL. Unfollow, I don't want to unfollow anyone. It's rude. I do have a proxy. I'm gonna just keep this one empty. I do have a proxy, but I'm just like using it on my other computer. Proxy is good because then it looks like you're actually doing this on, like it's coming from a mobile phone and not your terminal <laughs> in your browser. Who uses Instagram on the browser? And um, you can't even like watch stories, I don't think. It's super cheap. It's like $2 a month. It's worth it just for this experiment. So then I'm gonna say Python 3 example ui because that's the name of this file and it's gonna run it trying to log in as me as username whose username oh it thinks <laughs> thinks that i'm somewhere else so i think i didn't see d into this um that's weird so i'm gonna open i have so many different versions of this honestly that's very weird okay why does it say that user should see it shouldn't say username it should say like your actual name and i don't know why it thinks my name is username let's look again huh <laughs> oh i don't know because it's that one. So we need to CD into this one. Da -da. There we go. And there's the one I edited. Oh. Little error. I think I had to make this a string. Fucking <laughs> success. Now it's trying to do, look, it's trying to like uh, get the media tag makeup and then it's gonna like it liked whatever so yeah i really recommend this It's actually got me like, like probably like 1500 followers honestly and i mean disclaimer i am a female and i think it's a little bit easier for females to get followers on instagram depends on your content maybe you have really interesting content but yeah it works really well and i recommend it thanks for watching i'll put the links down below bye